Hello guys and welcome to the review of Samsung Galaxy Tab 2, the 7 inch variant. In this video we will discuss the ICS on this device. As you can see it's, uh, it's pretty smooth. Window animations or the screen animations is very smooth. No glitch. There is a standard uh, ICS touch key layout. So it's got the return key, the home screen button, recent apps so all your recent apps are right here and you have a screenshot key so when you press it just takes a screenshot and uh, asks you whether you want to save it or cancel it apart from this there is a notification panel right here and this gives you access to all your radio controls you can choose to enable disable Wi-Fi GPS and so on you have a control for brightness right here so you can increase or decrease or set it to auto mode you have all your notifications so you have instant access to your emails Facebook notifications um, you know any message um, so any any notification is right here you also have the settings uh, button so you can go into settings directly and you can see that the layout is slightly different than other ICS devices. The color theme is kind of uh, new, although the buttons are pretty much the same. You also have data usage button here, which is uh, slightly new in ICS. And uh, this gives you access to information regarding your uh, data usage. So it makes sure that you do not go above a certain limit. Um, apart from this, so you have six or seven home screens and you can choose to add more or you can simply remove them like that also if you go to your app drawer you can pinch and zoom here and you'll have instant access to all the windows um, for your apps the, in the ICS standard layout you have tabbed um, apps and widgets so you can choose between various widgets from here and you can just tap and hold and drag it to the screen so it's as simple as that apart from this there are quite a few options that now come up when you um, you know drag and try to drop an icon so you can either drop it into a folder you can drag it and drop it onto a new home screen you could obviously delete that particular icon so you just remove it from the uh, home screen that it was on or you can actually drop it to the information tab and it actually gives you information about that application so these are a few new things with the ICS on the Galaxy Tab 2 apart from this the browser is pretty interesting so let's go into the browser so as you can see the browser is slightly new the new color theme you have the option to switch between multiple tabs right here you can also request a mobile um, from mobile you can go into the desktop layout just by clicking on request desktop site um, the browser is pretty good uh, pinch and zoom works very nice very smooth scrolling and all of this we will discuss in a separate video about the browser you can also install Chrome beta and that would give you access to um, syncing option between your Chrome browser on the on the desktop or on your laptop um, and your uh, Chrome on the ICS on your Galaxy Tab 2 it can also save pages for offline uh, reading and um, I guess that's pretty handy especially when you're traveling and you don't have access to internet apart from this uh, you have the regular Gmail application and uh, slightly improved again you have more buttons more options slightly different action bar very smooth um, very good layout very easy to use and you can write here you can switch between different accounts if you have more than one account synced to your DAB there's a favorite panel right here 
and what that does is gives you instant access to your favorite applications you can choose to edit them so if you don't want something you can just remove it or you can just add it back a simple tap and hold and drag it once you're done you can just click on done and you can go back so as you can see it's pretty smooth instant access and go back apart from this um, there are quite a few other applications that come installed so let's take a look at that you have the uh, Samsung's chat on right here the game hub then you have memo you have the Polaris office for uh, you know viewing your documents spreadsheets etc you've got readers hub S planner I'll get into that Samsung apps you've got an inbuilt video player as well as a music player there will be a separate video about those a video maker and that's about it so you've got the regular Google applications like Gmail, Google Plus, Local, Maps all of these come preloaded about the S Planner the S Planner is a much better version of regular calendars that you have and it kind of gives you an, uh, options to uh, view your calendar by weekday even by agenda and it's, it just looks a little more usable um, things you can do with this S Planner are uh, you know beyond regular calendars that you have and just a better layout I like using this and uh, pretty handy so apart from this you've got let's look at YouTube so you can see that it has that th theatrical effect uh, very nice again very smooth scrolling is pretty good I would do another video again for the uh, for video um, that will highlight the video player the music player and YouTube video viewing very smooth no glitch the dual core processor 1 gigahertz 1 GB RAM it's, it's doing pretty good number of widgets it does take a little while to load the widgets but once that's done it's very smooth so that's ICS on the Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 uh, stay tuned for more I would be doing videos on the video player the music player YouTube videos even the camera so stay tuned and read the review for more details thank you